Hey guys, it's Max. Welcome to part two of my GH5 autofocus hack test. Uh, this is going to be the last part. I don't want to keep getting into these autofocusing videos. That's why I did not put out a video on this topic at all until so many of you guys asked me to uh, and Tony Northrup and Jordan Drake brought it up and the video is quite simple. I didn't want to test out all the configurations and vari variables and stuff like that just because We've got into this before and each time there's just so much comments giving different suggestions saying stuff I didn't do, stuff I should have done and similar thing happened this time. So some of you guys are really rude out there. Um, it's, it's crazy <laughs> to read some of those comments especially on this topic so that's why I'm not going to be covering any more GH5 autofocus stuff. So yes, I did hear about the 179 synchro scan. I did not know that it was better than the 120D. I saw the difference when the 120 uh, degree shutter and how much better that was. And I thought that was enough. So somebody else can take credit and watch the videos on autofocus other than me creating something. So uh, anyways, I did cover that. I did see some good improvements at 120 degree shutter, but this one we're going to be comparing 120 degree, which is already better than 180 to 179. So those of you guys who are new who don't know how to enable this, there's a function in the GH5 called Synchro Scan. This is if, uh, kind of there so that if you want to match up lighting and uh, kind of get rid of any flicker, you can literally adjust your shutter speed in really fine increments. Uh, so you have to go in, enable it, and set it to 179. So before I could talk more about this uh, topic and stuff like that, let's just go ahead and look at the side-by-side -side footage between 24, 30, and 60 frames per second in 4K. All right guys, so you saw that for yourselves. Yes, there was a good improvement from 120 degree, which already was an improvement from 180, going to 179. So like all those other videos already mentioned on the GH5 and on this topic, uh, the Yoda Yeos video, which is linked in the video description, 179 is kind of the best sweet spot. So your shutter speed is very close to the optimal shutter speed for motion blur. Um, and the autofocus speed is definitely improved. Now it's not improved in all areas. There were some times where the 120 was better than the 179. I don't think this is just because it's better in certain scenarios. I think just the GH5 isn't very consistent. This is what we've been seeing since it came out. And unfortunately, even though it is improved quite a bit over a standard 180 degree shutter, uh, we do still have some of that background pulsing and that at times it just doesn't want to focus. Um, that was a short video. Sometimes we have to wait for a while until it would focus on the face. But overall, 179 is definitely an improvement. So if you want to be trusting your GH5 to do video autofocusing, uh, continuous video autofocusing, definitely set it in that scenario. And I think in the future when I'm going to be shooting with the GH5, I will be testing this out more. Up until this point, I'm basically manual focusing on the GH5, which is what I think a lot of you guys are doing. So if you guys are have any other suggestions, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be making another video. I know a lot of you guys were saying, well, there's 20 videos on this already. You should have watched those and known about these little specifics. I'm sorry, guys, I cannot do that. I have a lot of other stuff going on. Uh, YouTube is only a small part of what we do here, and I can't watch all those videos. And if there's all those videos available, that's why I don't have to be making a video like this one. 
uh, which I wanted to avoid in the first place. So hopefully this is going to be helpful to some of you guys. It's basically a response video to all the uh, comments that the other video got. So hopefully you guys are happy that really wanted a video showing and proving what you already know from 20 other videos. So thank you Yoda Yo for figuring this out uh, and for testing these different fine increments and stuff like that. Hopefully this will be helpful to the community and all those people who own and shoot with the GH5 will want to make use of that continuous autofocus. And hopefully with the GH6 we will get phase detection autofocus because we know that's going to be a really big improvement over the contrast detection which is still plagued with those issues with uh, background just kind of uh, going in and out of focus with the focus breathing and sometimes just uh, adjustments that aren't perfect just because of the way contrast detection works. So uh, once again, another tip, if you want to get the best video autofocus, shoot in 60p, even though you're going to get some more of that breathing in the background, it definitely has the most frames to sample, which is how contrast detection works. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry I had to make another video. I'm sorry to myself I had to make a follow-up video autofocus video, but hopefully this makes you guys, all those commenters out there happy. And make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to see a lot more different videos, some really interesting stuff coming up that doesn't have to do with the GH5's autofocusing system. This has been Max, and I will see you in the next video.